this is full of propane that I can deliver to the corn dryer. I don't think I have a spot where I can park the propane tanker. But I'm sure this is fine out in the open, right? Okay, so let's go deliveries. Now the it can only take a third of what the tanker can hold. But propane was actually super cheap, so I just bought a full tanker full. So now I can turn that on. Oh, my animals are fine. And then I can start running that. And I think I'll just put this right next to the corn dryer. That will be fine. So I picked up everything else and I bought the other auger I will need. Now I don't know if I'm going to turn all of my corn into dry corn. It will depend really on the next month or so if I'm going to get pigs, but I do have 54,000 more liters of corn. So I got a bit more than 100,000 liters. I can need to move the boda because it's in front of the the baler. We just move that over here for now. And then I can get to seeing how corn stalks work. Most of it I'm going to sell, but I'm going to see if I can't bail up some of it and keep some bales. I don't know if I should windrow it or if that would just make them way too big. So like they're already too big. Like I don't know if windrowing would make it better. It would probably make it worse. I probably don't want automatic drop on. Because I'm going to need to be driving. Oh, actually, the baler can pick this all up. This baler is awesome. It might be tiny, but it's awesome. I thought it wouldn't be able to pick up both of them, all, the whole swap, so I figured it would be better to just go through half of it at a time. To, let's see, this would be the third one. Let me reset the bail counter. I want, I think, eight will be fine. Then it'll just be two trip with the, um, the hooks and only eight to stack in my barn afterwards. So I need five more. It'd be fun pushing them out of the ditch. better that than having to push them around if I had to come back through here. I went a little off center there.
only one of them is actually in the ditch. I thought that one was going to be too. Okay, well, let's see if the massive pile at the start will finish the last bale I want. It will not, but that's okay. I can take some off of these massive piles. Okay, there we go. Eight corn stalk bales that I can pick up later. I didn't actually look. Was this the day it's supposed to rain? I don't think today was the day it's supposed to rain. No. And neither is tomorrow. Now with how much corn stalks there is, I don't think I'm going to have too much of a problem with making some money off of that. I do need to get a tutter and I would like to get a cedar. So that I can put wheat or barley, or maybe both, one in each, in these two fields. Let's see, you don't have an unfold. Okay, let's... Oh, I do want the trailer fill limit on now. I don't know if this... I mean, this should be light enough that it won't really matter, but I don't know. Now let's see where I should be selling corn stalks. Corn stalks. Patterson Green in export. Let me tag that. I have been there before for a contract. Yep, right down there. So take a left, I believe there's a light right there.
And now I can sell my first load of corn stalks. That is not a bad amount. What was it, 4200 for this and then another 450 for my score? I didn't even look at what my score is now that I've harvested those. Eighty-six, not bad. Obviously it did no weed control. And actually, I didn't think I would get, oh, I was still using the seeding options thing, so it counted as a direct drill. I actually took it out because I didn't want everything to count as a direct drill. But, and then it will, I haven't been perfect on the nitrogen, but that's fine. So I get an extra 11%. So, let me... So we'll get back up and do five bajillion more loads. Turning it on is great. Lowering it is better. And it's not quite getting all of it, so I'm going to make sure I come down one side. And then I can go up the other. Well, on my drive down here, the forecast updated to say there's going to be rain around 8 o'clock, which is kind of, kind of disrupts my plan because I was going to cut the alfalfa field so it could turn into hay tomorrow, which is the only non-raining day until the middle of November, if the forecast is right. So I'm going to have to cut that early in the morning instead and hope it can dry out by the evening. I'm still going to need to buy the tether, but I could have gotten it cut. But I guess I could do that tomorrow.
Well, I'm almost done with the small field, the corn stalk on that. I'm gonna stop for some fuel up here. And then continue taking this forage wagon pole to Patterson's. There we go. Nice fall co colors in the in the trees. And I apparently got perfect timing for the light. It's always a feel good moment. Um it's it's rain still supposed to be at eight. I think it's still supposed to be at eight, but I won't check that while I'm driving. I'll wait till I'm at Patterson's. I'm sure they get um, quite a bit of business from if they do boat tours anywhere around here. Just to have, you know, a dinner cruise with with the fall colors. Maybe a lunch cruise. Okay, let's check the rain. Yeah, still, still for a couple hours around eight. So I'll try to get as much of this done before then. And then I'll probably cheat some of that away by emptying the forge wagon tomorrow. But obviously I have a lot of other things I have to do tomorrow as well, so we'll see. I will I'll want to get both fields plowed, but I guess if I just don't have enough time to get it plowed, I can just go with the penalty for the cereal crap I'll be putting in there. Well, depending on what cedar I go with, I don't have that many options because of my horsepower. But even if my cedar can't direct drill, it wouldn't take too long to discarrow it if I just won't have enough time to plow and then harrow. But we'll not something to worry about after I get all the stalks in and sold and see how long the rain is on the other days. And I have the alfalfa field. I won't worry too much about if I can't get the grass because that's that's just um money whereas the hay is for my animals but yeah let me go get as much of this done as i can before the rain comes okay just about done with field nine which is a tiny field. So I am sure field 16 is going to take forever. But there we go, that field is done. And I have a bit over an hour, I think, before the rain. So we'll start working on field 16.
There's one load to go take down to Patterson's and hopefully get another load in before the rain. Maybe even two. I haven't really been looking at how long it takes me to drive them back. It's definitely most of the job. I just realized that, well, it's supposed to rain and I have my bales here. I need to do that, get the bales off the ground. Can I get that out of the road? Yeah. So let me go get the the bars so I can bring these over into the shed. There they are faced this way. So let me Put this on and then turn around and get the other ones. And then go get some bales. There's only eight, so it'll just be two trips. And I won't worry about stacking them too neatly. Just get them in the shed. I can use the bale spikes and stack them neatly when I have my, before I have my hay bales to worry about. Let me get more that way. And I want to widen those. And lift it. Um, let's tilt it this way. Try to get lined up with the other one, with another one. Work out the, oh, I have it tilted that way. There we go. And then lift it and fold it. And then go to the front and unfold those. It's actually much easier to see out the back. Well, I guess it probably wouldn't be if I had a normal head instead of the owl head. Let's see. No, I'm going to have to do this. Just cannot see. I'll leave the one in the ditch to be the first one of the next batch when I won't have to worry about dropping other bales, another bale to pick that up. Oh, I didn't even raise it, so. Now raise it and fold it.
I made those too, um, I widened those too much when I was trying to do it with the, um, I'm okay with picking them up again, but I'm not going to try to flip this one, so. A little tea with there. They didn't seem like they don't. I mean, it, that's actually my problem. It's been it hasn't even been that long since I did all of those straw bales. I forgot to um shrink it down once I got them both on there, and then old maze. I guess I could have just pushed them in, but whatever. And then squish them in, lift it up, fold them, and tilt up. Ah, uh, that does not look great. I'm definitely trying to escape. I might have squished them too much. But hopefully this will get me to the shed. I mean, yeah, that's not going to work. See how close they are to coming off? I don't know if it's... I'll just try to drive them to the shed like this. I think I tried to squish them in too much. Either that or the the corn stalk bales are even worse than than other bales. But I doubt that, I'm sure it's they're pretty much the same, just a different fill type. Okay, so but they're there. They don't have to go, go far. They're just meant to get them closer to where I can stack them into a better spot. So do that and then push these two back and then tilt it so that they won't come with me when I go forward. There we go. Now I can put these back. That pretty much erased any chance of me getting another uh, wagon full of corn stalks, but at least my bales are safe. Let me go get hooked back up to the forage wagon and I will take that load down to sell. And that will probably be it for the day because it's going to rain soon. Well, within an hour.